Welcome to my first tutorial. We are going to learn how to create a website with Website Builder right now. As you can see, this is my dashboard from HostPapa. I have the Website Builder starter. I'm going to launch it. And the first time you launch it, you're going to get a, a gallery of templates that you can choose from. If you don't see that, then you need to contact HostPapa and ask them to uh, reset your Website Builder. And of course, that's going to erase everything, and that's going to give you the gallery that you're looking at right And this logo here is not mine, we need to change that, so that's the first thing I want to do. So we have a little panel here, and today um, we just, we'll just check a few options, and we will start with Style, Designer, and I'm going to add my logo. So here you look for the logo, and I'm going to upload a picture. select it doesn't look very well because the background is black and I didn't refine the edges so I'm going to make it a bit smaller as you can see it says width right here and you can use this slider to change the size so I'm going to leave it like this maybe and uh, Next thing I'm going to do is uh, notice that you can change it, put it on top, uh, put it to the right, and you can put it at the bottom. Maybe I'm going to leave it on top. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this background color. And how do you change this background color? you need to know where you are so you can easily just click on it and the menu is going to change so this is the header background I'm going to change it to something slightly lighter like this gray just for you to see how it changes I'm going to exaggerate it but okay I'm going to leave it like that then next thing um, I'm going to do, I'm going to save this, it's with the base version of Website Builder you can have three pages. So let's go ahead and add another page. And the name of this page is going to be About Me. Okay, the heading is going to be the same, we copy, oh, I'm sorry, we save it. And there we go, we have the About Me page, which has nothing on it, contacts, it has a predefined contacts already, we can change that later on, About Me is pretty much the same thing as the home page, so let's go back to the home page. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we will try to change this picture that we see in the background. The so, how do we do that? This is not really drag and drop, 
So you can really open, open up a folder and drag and drop your picture here. But what you need to pay attention to is every time you hover your mouse over one of the elements, uh, here for example you can see um, this menu, edit and margin. Same thing happens with the text and with the buttons. So here we have the edit button, so we're going to edit it. And here you can insert either a video or an image. So right now we are going to insert an image. I'm going to upload it. And I've, I have some stock photos here. I just chose random pictures that I liked for this because I'm not really um, building a beautiful website right now. It's just for you to see um, our, the things that we can do with this. So uh, let's save it and let's see how it looks. Okay, good. So we have um, our background image here. But still, we can play around a little bit more with it. So, say for example, I don't want this picture to be so close to my menu here. So I'll go to margin. And the margin you can work with REM or pixels. Um, I would suggest working with REM. And uh, just for you to, if you don't want to get in too much details about what this is and how it works you can just play around with the values for example I'm going to enter the number 3 and see what happens okay so now it's not so close to this but we have a white space here what happened let's try to analyze what's going on let's go to you can do this in two ways you can go to style and designer mode like I did or you can click in this little pen right here we're going to save the settings and let's try to see what this area is oh this is the page background so we need to equal the color same as same as this background see this is the header background and I'm going to copy the color here and I'll go back to this empty space choose the color I'm going to edit the background color I'm going to paste the code that I copied there we go, that's it now we have more space here let's continue working with this picture I'm going to save the settings We'll continue working with this picture so that we can see what the other settings we have. Um, right now, as you can see, the picture is starting from the bottom. I can make the picture start from the upper left. So let's click on this. And you see that the moon moved to this corner. Let's save it and let's see what happens. Well, the, the picture is fitting properly here, so we don't really see much of a difference. But if it was a bigger picture, then we would really see the difference. Oh, actually it wasn't... Oh, yes, yes, sorry. Okay, so what else can we do? If it is a small picture, small picture um, I can I give you an example because this is not a small picture. You could change the repeat option here from... To repeat to the sides or vertically or in a grid of course this is not going to be the case because we don't have any empty space so we'll just leave it as it is and uh, next thing uh, that I want you to notice is that we can play around with the fonts inside it so here you can change the colors the size and the font family uh, we're not going to do that as of right now, I just want you to see that we do have these options but we will work on it later in another tutorial. So let's go back, uh, we haven't done any changes so we're not going to save it. Something that is really important for you to know 
I'm going to going to browse here. And if I if you take a look at this picture, there's a little icon that looks like a little pen that says edit with aviary. Um, if I click on it, I'm going to get an error. Okay, so see what happens. Um, for the moment, this has been deprecated. So if you want to edit your picture, you can do it from outside your website builder. And this is an option that you can use, pixelart.com. So as of the moment, you cannot edit the picture from the website builder. Maybe in the future, but not for the moment. So we're going to cancel this. Okay, and uh, the last thing that we're going to see in this tutorial is how you can play around with the text. So here, what you need, what you need to um, notice is that this is a heading two. You can see that right here. Okay, if we scroll down and if we select this text, you can see that this is also a heading two. And this one is a heading five, okay? So let's go ahead and change the style for all the headings two and the headings five. So I'm going to go to my designer and I'm going to um, click on This is the second header. It's actually called second header and not heading two. And uh, this is the color in the background. And this is the font. So how about if we change the font to this? You see how it changed? I um, actually did for everything and I, w I didn't want that. Okay, so um, it's the, the, this is the font that I was looking for. So let's choose um, this one. You see it's changing only for the header two, or second header as it's called in the, in the designer mode. And I can change um, the text decoration. Uh, let's do uh, I'll underline, you see? Adding it. it doesn't look good, but it's just for you to see how this works. If I scroll down and look for the other headings, you see that it also has the underline. And uh, if instead of the second header, I choose, for example, the fifth header, I can also change Font and it's going to be applied to all the fifth header. If you add a new, another one, a new one, it's, all go, it's also going to apply to the new ones that you add. So this is the tutorial for today. We are going to continue customizing all of these settings and um, we will even uh, create a new website from scratch without using any template just for you to see all the all the different options that we have uh, so subscribe so that you can get the notifications for the next videos i'm going to upload this is the first one and hope you have a good day